Let's talk about a self-help sort of philosophy book. It's called Awakening Your Ikigai by Ken Mogi. Ikigai is a Japanese concept that is making its way to the broader world. Ikigai can best be translated as a way of life that enables you to enjoy the simple joys of life, even in the midst of conflict and chaos. Ikigai promotes a balanced but simple lifestyle and making choices to appreciate the small things in life. And the author suggests Ikigai could be critical to a long life. Highlights of Ikigai include starting small, the joy of little things, harmony and stability, and being in the here and now. It's easy to see the appeal of Ikigai in Japan, where workers frequently log more than 80 hours a month of overtime, and death related to overwork in the workplace in Japan has made international news of late. Author Ken Mogi uses multiple examples from both Japan and the Western world to explain how Ikigai transcends cultural boundaries. Mogi shows how Ikigai can be seen in Japanese culture in the sumo wrestler's lifestyle, uh, a famous sushi, sushi chef's approach, that's hard to say, or even the fisherman who supplies the chef fresh fish. From the Western world, we see Ikigai in an Irish television comedy, the living conditions of California and Montana, even the works of Shakespeare. Even though Ikigai is a Japanese term, the ideals are something that stressed out people around the globe can embrace. Mogi's syntax is sometimes a little stilted. It has the feel of a speaker or a translator who is well-versed in English, but maybe not fully fluent. Some of the supporting examples used to support the arguments for Ikigai in the Western world seem either a little dated or just a bit of a stretch, but it's easy for the reader to grasp what the main point is and extrapolate that to his or her own cultural examples. Mogi's book particularly resonated with me as I made my first trip through Japan last summer, and I visited many of the places that Mogi mentions throughout the book. It is a wonderful book, despite its minor flaws. It is a book that is uh, well-timed for a very crazy, hectic world in helping find your own direction. It's Awakening Your Ikigai 